Just one preseason game remains. Thank God. We're almost at the end of this thing. The Leafs win another hockey game. 2-0 over the Detroit Red Wings. And their great defensive play continues throughout the preseason. Now, does it mean anything once October 9th it's around? Uh, no. What does mean something to me now, and I didn't think it would. It is preseason, but my God, Nick Robertson just keeps scoring. He has scored the Leafs' last five goals. He scored both today. He scored both goals on Saturday in Montreal. And then the final game, or the final goal of that 2-1 win against the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, he scored that too. (laughs) Five goals so far for Nick Robertson in the preseason. And he looked outstanding. The big takeaways I have is Nick Robertson and Anthony Stolarz, who continues to impress. Looks really quiet in the net. Obviously, he's 6'6". Got a little bite to him. There's one play where he got knocked into the back of the net. Play keeps going around. Then he gives the guy a guy a, a whack in the back. right With the blocker and the stick just knocks him right in the back. I love it. Good stuff. And he goes on to get a 30-save shutout against the regulars for the Detroit Red Wings. As the only regulars you saw out there for the Leafs, you could say you could say Nick Robertson, m- maybe. Max Pacioretty, who had two assists uh, uh, you know, on one of the power play, obviously. And then the... The nice little soft sauce to Nick Robertson on the second goal. Uh, David Camp played. Bobby McMahon. Lilligren. Uh, Lorenz. Yarncrock. That's it. And you win 2-0 over the Detroit Red Wings. Shut them out in Detroit. And I just thought it was just a really quiet, sound, defensive hockey game. And in the first period, Leafs get a power play late. And not Robertson gets it with gets the puck in space and just fires it. And this is the thing about him, right? He may not be a big guy. He may not be the sexiest defensively. He may not have the physical play to him. But my God, can he shoot the puck? Beats Cam Talbot clean at 7:54 the first period on the power play. Patch Reddy and Cowan have assists on the goal, and you're up one nothing. It stays that way all the way until the third. And a nice defensive play from Nick Robertson. Tying up was it Alex DeBrinkin, I believe it was. And holding him off the puck. Puck goes the other way. Patrick gets it. Robertson's up the ice. Patrick, like I mentioned earlier, with a nice soft sauce in the middle of the ice. And obviously Cam Talbot, yeah, he was in the entire game, right? Cam Talbot? Uh, yeah. Uh, Eco's sliding across thing and his shot's coming. But Robertson with the patience and the wherewithal to go to the backhand and slide it into the empty cage. A beautiful move. For his second of the game, Camp and Pacioretty with assist there. On the power play goal is Pacioretty and Easton Cowan. It's getting very interesting about Nick Robertson, right? Because we all talked about trading him, right? And, and he, we didn't have a contract. He wanted out. And Leafs fans were like, okay, you haven't done anything in the league yet. Like, really? We're demanding trades now? And he gets the one-year contract at like 875. And... And comes into preseason and has five freaking goals. Now, he has done this in the past, though. I believe his preseason numbers last year were pretty damn good. However, this is now. And this team, what have we always lacked? Late in games or different uh, secondary offense, right? Goal scoring elsewhere than the top four guys. Well, you got a dude here who shoots the puck in the net. Also in playoffs, he's not really a playoff player, Nick Roberts. Regardless, he puts the puck in the net. It's beautiful to see. Now, Anthony Stolarz, guys, I'm sold. I I am so sold on him. What were the goaltenders we saw last year? Obviously, Joseph Wall, the main goalies. Joseph Wall and Ilya Samsonov, right? And if you guys have watched my videos in the past, you know I just love watching Joe Wall play. Very quiet in the net. Very positionally sound. Just really fundamentally calm. And I like it. Albeit we've only seen him once in the preseason. So, okay. And a lot of the Leafs big guys we've only seen kind of once. But I'm okay with that. If they're ready October 9th and they're healthy and ready to go, that's all I care about. I, I could care less otherwise. But Anthony Stolarz. Or, sorry, sorry. I was talking about Samsonov as well. And Samsonov... We all know that. I call him Swimmy Swimsonov. Uh, he, he, it's all he did. P- sticks in the corner somehow. He's flying around like a fish out of water. It's ugly. 
And Anthony Stolarz, who basically replaced with Samsonov, is six foot six. And my God, does he look calm in the net? It's it's a tre- it's a pleasure to watch. And I'm all over Leafs Twitter, and people are kind of feeling the same way. We'll see how it plays out, though, right? Neither him nor Joe Wall have played like 30 games in the league in a season, so we're not getting too hyped up about it. But you have the positional depth, right? You have a, a Dennis Hill to be. Uh, probably a Matt Murray down there as well. And like you got some options, but your top two guys, they have the pedigree. They have the calm, cool, collected nature. I don't know. I am enjoying it wholeheartedly. Robertson, a couple goals, beautiful. Max Petretti had two assists. Um, and I got to say on the back end, Marshall Refi and, and Philip Myers, they looked good. Physically, able to take a check, throw a check, positionally quiet. I, I loved their game. And obviously a 30 save shutout, you know, you only had what, 20, 20, uh, 30 to 25 in shots considering you played nobody. Uh, I was impressed tonight. Now, does it mean anything past today? Not a chance. But it was fun to watch, right? Now, Leafs Nation, the last preseason game is on Saturday night as the Leafs host the Detroit Red Wings, and I'm very curious who's going to be in that lineup. Is Joe Wall going to be playing that game, or are we going to see the the are we, and are we going to see the regulars back out there? Bassett Matthews, Willie Nylander, Mitch Marner, John Tavares. They seem to like to do that at home, so we'll see. All right, so you know what, guys, that is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and Anthony Stolarz and Nick Robertson tonight, hit that like button. Do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. If you have not done so already, comment down below your thoughts on the video. Thoughts on the game. Would you like? Would you not like from today's game? For the Toronto Maple Leafs, Twitter, Discord, Instagram, and of course TikTok is down below. So follow up there if you haven't done so already. I'll talk to you guys Saturday night, maybe, maybe Sunday. Gonna be busy Saturday night, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Seven o'clock puck drop at Scotiabank Arena. Leafs and Red Wings in the final preseason game before Wednesday's season opener in Montreal. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, the game tonight. Talk to you guys then.